Okay guys, welcome to the Abacus course. In that course, we're gonna talk about how can we create nail hook and hyperelastic materials. And in that case, of course, I'm gonna create my Abacus shortcut here. I'm gonna use the right mouse button with properties. You can see the sum and start in process here. So it means that I don't need to organize my folder. Okay, after that, I just need to double click on it. So you can, I can easily be and use the my abacus and fold from and visual studio process. Okay, if you intend to use and an abacus platform to create your product, so you can use the with standard explicit model. Okay, I need to follow and that step part property assembly step load mess job and visual visualization process okay i'm gonna click on the part section here i'm gonna click on the create part section and my modeling space 3d deformable solid and extrusion i'm gonna click on the continue button here i just need to create some rectangle here so i can use the dimension button and that can be 25 and that also can be 25 millimeters after that you, i can use the saj button in my on, on my keyboard i'm gonna use the down button here i need to write my extrusion distance here it can be 75 millimeters I can use the ok button okay this is my product i can turn back to property i need to organize my material i'm gonna use the create material button here my material name, material one. I can use the mechanical elasticity, hyper elastic material. Okay. I need to select my strain energy potential here. I'm going to click on that button to select nail hook options. In that case, we can use the taste data. If you have the taste data, you can use the taste data properties here uniaxial, biaxial, planar test or volumetric test data. Okay, but I'm gonna click on the coefficients here. After that, I'm gonna write my coefficients C10 and D1. Okay, I can and figure out and their coefficients from some article. I'm gonna write here. After that, I just need to push OK button. Okay. I need to create section. I'm going to push that button. My section solid and homogeneous. Okay. After that, I can also need to create a sign section. I'm going to click on that button, select my 3D model. And after that, I need to push down button here. Okay. That's it. You can see the green part like this. Is everything fine? I can turn back to the assembly section pushing to create instance here. I just need to click dependent part and parts need to click OK button. OK, we're going to turn back to the step section. I need to organize my step initial static general. I need to push the continue button. I need to open the and that properties and LGM. I'm going to click on OK button here and incrementation section. I'm going to write 0.1. I'm going to click OK button here. OK. I'm going to turn back to the load section. I need to create my create boundary section here. I need to intend to create Ancastre face here. I'm going to push the continue button. I need to select my face and push down button. OK. After that, I need to select my Ancastre. So it means that X, Y, Z and not translatable of course non rotatable okay i'm gonna click ok button here i need to rotate my product like this okay after that i'm gonna intend to use the displacement and rotation here I need to push that button select my face and hit down button i need to write here minus 20. okay everything seems fine we're gonna turn to mesh process in mesh process and of course before mesh process i need to organize my element type okay sorry i need to click on part section 
I need to turn back to element type. I need to select my body with done button. So I need to select that that one hybrid formulation and reduce integration. I'm gonna click OK button with done. After that, I need to create my seat part. Okay, it can be two millimeters like this. After that, we can create mesh part with yes button. Okay, everything seems fine. You're gonna turn back to the job process. I need to create my job here. I can see my material and my section and my step here. And also we can see our boundary condition here. I'm gonna click on the job button here. This is my job. So it's everything fine. I just need to use the right mouse button, right input. Okay, this is my input. So I can easily be able to see that input into my folder because as you know that I organize it. So this is my input file here. Okay, we can turn back to the abacus. We can use the data check properties. Okay, it's submitted right now. I need to check out everything is fine and my about my product about my material or other stuff here you can see that completed successfully so everything is fine about my materials after that i need to then submit my process okay it is submitted right now i can use the right mouse button with monitor here i need to see my incrementation and process here i need to wait for a while so you can easily see your an incremental step here yeah everything seems fine it started right now you can see that i am starting from that point and yeah it's and finish right now it's completed i need to use the right mouse button to see my results okay i just need to click on that button to see everything is fine all right okay you can also see the different uh, domain here I'm gonna use the S or and the that stuff. Okay, it's also possible to organize that kind of and properties. Okay, thank you very much for listening to me. If uh, if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me. I am here to answer your question. Okay, don't forget to save your file. Okay, I can also write here and block. Okay, everything seems fine. Thank you very much for listening to me.